back with Arik again, and today we're talking Swiss Precision. A couple of things that run through my mind like a racetrack when I think of Swiss Precision is running nights, weekends, all the time. Large job quantities. Sometimes it can be high mix, low volume, but as a general rule, that's what I think about. And the immediate, the immediate domino effect being knocked down by needing to have 24-7 production is, do I have my rigidity? Do I have the ability to repeat month after month, year after year, and today we're gonna to learn a little bit more about how this machine just might have what they need. Yeah, absolutely. We're, uh, we're very blessed to support Nomura and the Texas market. And you mentioned it, right? Swiss is a lights out situation and uh, we, want, we want them to rain parts, right? That's the old saying on Swiss. And the issue with Swiss oftentimes comes down to not having the rigidity that they need. And that's kind of a, uh, a, a, people know that historically. And so Nomura is a little bit of a throwback with modern technology. And what I mean by that is we're talking about dovetail slides. We're talking about scrape box ways. You know, things that are historically known for giving us that strong, that rigidity in order to take a nice, heavy, deep cut. And then and at the same time, we, you know, we put a nice Mitsubishi control on this, our newest drives, our newest motors. So we have all the newest technology in an old school get her done casting and, and set up. I love the way you talk, Eric. Yeah. The way you describe it, man, the get her done style. Well, I heard a rumor, because we're, we're focused right now to let everyone know we are in Texas, yep. Prosper Machine Tools. Yep. I mean, you're famous here anyway. I don't even need to say your name for crying out <laughs> Everybody loud. Everybody knows me. But we're talking about rigidity here. But I heard a rumor that these machines also come with quite a bit of flexibility, quite yep. a bit of speed, and a whole, a whole opportunity for multitasking as well. So some of our more common conversations, we're not losing that by focusing on the ability to hit the parts hard when we need to. Right, and, and here's one of the neat things about these machines. So when you think of Swiss, most people know that you're supposed to run ground bar stock in order to, <laughs> right? To make it work. To make it work. <laughs> and that's expensive. And you got this, you got, you got your guide bushing in there and, and ground bar stock as we know is expensive. And it's just, it just adds one more complication. We want to be able to run this thing maybe in a more traditional sense, maybe someone's making a lot of small parts and they don't want to go to a traditional lathe, they want to do this, we can run this in chucker mode. We can actually take the guide bushing out, we can run it more like a traditional lathe at that point in time. So again, it gives us that flexibility. So now if we're a job shop and we don't want to run 10,000 parts, we want to run 100, we can do that now. So it, again, it's flexibility with rigidity, with new technology and, and just the way that this machine is set up it's 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 set up to capture the market it, it it's a it's a rock star yeah well i don't need to say anything more i mean that's how we close this out when you're looking for that flexible reliable and hell yeah rigid machine this nomura has it and i think eric has it as well let's see what that hit yeah oh, <laughs> yeah he's got it he's got it as well 